Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ejin Des. In this video, I will be doing a book review for a Japanese learning textbook. Before I start, um, I did take the JLPT last month and I felt pretty good about it. Took the N3 level. I'm going to make a video about it later when I get the results back so I can kind of tell you a little bit more about what I felt, how it went, and what materials I used to study. But for now, I will do a video review about Japanese from Zero's Kanji from Zero textbook. This baby right here. I love George Trombley's um, From Zero series. Literally, I've been following this company since uh, near the beginning, since they really started putting out their first products um, like nine years ago or something like that. I'm in love with their learning material and I highly recommend it for absolute beginners and especially self learners. So before I start reviewing this product, I kind of want to talk a little bit about the company that wrote this. Um, the main guy in charge of it all, his name is George Trombley, he's a white American dude who grew up in Japan, so he speaks fluent English and Japanese, that's important. He's also a professional certified translator between English and Japanese. So he made this company, right, originally called Yes Japan, uh, for learners who wanted to learn the Japanese language. And when I started learning, actually, I used his textbook series, the Japanese From Zero textbook series, back when they had a white background with like, I, I don't want to say poorly drawn character on the front. Um, I don't know who drew it, I don't, I don't mean to offend, but slightly amateurish looking drawing on the front of a little girl and like a little Japanese proverb on the front with it translated in English and the bottom. That's what I started with, um, with my Japanese studies. That was back when I was studying on my own, before taking actual classes in Japanese. I was an absolute beginner. Um, I did it for fun, I was just studying on my own. And the books were incredible. They made learning Japanese fun and it wasn't, it wasn't scary or daunting at all. What really drew me in, what really got me was the progressive kana learning system. And that hooked me from the beginning because you know, kana, learning kana, hiragana, and katakana seemed so daunting at the time. Anyways, over time, the company grew, they improved, uh, you know, they focused more on from zero, and they started making textbooks for Chinese and Korean as well. The company's primary focus, however, is Japanese, and they have a five-part series right now um, for just learning overall Japanese you know, learning to read, speak, and to write, the grammar, vocabulary, all of it is there in their five-part series, which is also all online as well. They also have books f just for learning kana, hiragana and katakana, and now they have this kanji book. I'm so excited. I saw it and I got so happy and I immediately requested a free copy so that I could do a review and they sent it to me. Actually, it was supposed to arrive later this month. I ordered it, I requested it like two, three months ago, I think. They were in the process of making this version. This is the second edition of the book. They were in, in the middle of making it and they said, you know, when we finish it, we'll send it to you. Just give us your address. I was like, okay. Now I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the book, its features, my likes, my dislikes, and then an overall rating on the book as a whole. So as the cover says, this is a textbook meant for absolute beginners, really beginners in Japanese, especially beginners in kanji. If you're looking to learn kanji, and you're a beginner, this is what you need. This is the resource. Like, I cannot stress it enough. I highly recommend, highly recommend this book. On the cover here, it says it teaches the first 240 kyoiku kanji, um, along with 1,500 vocabulary words used utilizing those kanji characters. Um, the book in itself is a workbook. That's why it's so thick. It is so thick. Look at this book. It's crazy. It's a workbook. The whole thing is included, um, as well as answers for every question and every exercise. Just fantastic. Super useful for self-learners. Not only that, but all of the readings for every kanji character are included as well. 
um, in addition to proper stroke order for each kanji character, compounds, it's got everything, man. So the characters that are taught in this textbook are the first 240 general education kanji, the same ones that Japanese uh, uh, school children will learn in the first and second grade. Now, that does seem a little low level, a little small, but it's still 240 characters. And this is a thick book. It's chock full of vocabulary, notes, learning strategies, games, um, activities. It, it really is a self-learner's dream. In the front sections as well of the book, it explains things like furigana, okurigana, kunyomi readings, onyomi readings, etc, etc, etc. And that's really great because, you know, in most Japanese language classes, the teachers don't really go over that. They don't focus on it. And speaking of things that aren't normally taught in the classroom, this book also talks and teaches about radicals used in kanji, as well as specific kanji uses. I'm gonna open up here to page uh, 172. This is page 172 of the book. You can see the kanji character for uh, origin or cause, moto, gen, up here. Um, and then it has examples of the usage for the kanji, which is totally fantastic. It, it says, moto is used in many common everyday words you will hear with friends or on the news. And then it has like the word for ex-boyfriend ex-girlfriend, ex-wife, ex-husband, ex-president, former prime minister. Okay, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, ex-wife, ex-husband. Those are, well, these are words, all of them. They're, they're words you don't typically learn in a classroom, which I think is great, fantastic that this book is teaching you things like that. And on the very next page, um, the thread radical, Itohen, is discussed. Look at this. It's brilliant. The kanji for hosoi, the kanji for senyi, kanji for watame, uh, tegami, ehon, sozai, murasaki iro, renzoku, aomidori, koukyu. All of uh, those words utilize characters that have the thread radical. And it's so important, I think, to teach the radicals with the kanji, because with those radicals you can make learning monomics, you can make uh, stories to go along with it, you can relate characters together that have similar or the same radicals. It's just so important to learn radicals when you're learning kanji, I have found. What also kind of shocked me was that the radical name, Itohen, is presented as well with the radical. It's not just the English thread radical. It has the Japanese name next to it, which is so rare in kanji education, in foreign, Japanese foreign language education, I, I think. Now I wanna talk about the overall structure of the book. What is that like? There are 30, there are 39 lessons in this bad boy. And each lesson introduces about five to eight kanji. Uh, the average is about six per lesson. And every so often there will be what's called a super review. Um, it's just, a, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a cumulative review of every character you've learned so far. Uh, you're tasked with doing certain exercises. And to me, this is so important. Like, if you're not constantly reviewing something, you're gonna forget it. And that's especially true when learning uh, characters, kanji characters. The exercises and games include identifying, you know, correct stroke orders, matching meanings, matching characters with the correct pronunciation, filling in blanks to make sentences coherent, etc., etc. <laughs> Even better, the answer key uh, to each activity in the lesson can be found at the very end of the lesson, which I think is great. Normally. In most textbooks, the answer key can be found at the very end of the book, the very back of the book, and you kind of have to like put a bookmark there or put your hand there and then flip back over to the, the workspace and just like compare with what is what, is it right? But instead, it's much closer to the actual content, the actual questions that you're checking, which I think is brilliant. 
And in the super review sections, there are questions formatted similar to what you would find on the JLPT and other standardized Japanese proficiency exams. You know, having that is just great practice if you want to take exams like that. I just took the JLPT recently and, you know, this would have been very helpful. You know, if I was taking N5 level or maybe even N4. What I really like in the super review sections um, is the kanji crossword game. It's a puzzle. And it's just, it's just a crossword with kanji. It's great. On top of that, at the end of the book, you can find three glossaries. Uh, one in which you can search for characters by the reading, one in which you can search for characters by the stroke count, and one in which you can search the characters by their English meaning. All in all, this 430 page book is jam packed with kanji, activities, notes, etc., etc. Now for the evaluation. This book is ideal for absolute kanji beginners, uh, beginners. Japanese language learning beginners in general, self-learners of Japanese, it's really great for self-learners. One really specific category would be Japanese children growing up in America who want to learn kanji via English. Sure, I guess. People who might not find this useful include advanced students of Japanese, students looking to study JLPT kanji. This book does not teach the JLPT kanji list. Instead, this book teaches the general use kanji, kyoik kanji, um, which are determined by the Ministry of Education of the Japanese government, something like that. So you're actually, with this, you're actually learning the characters that are taught in public Japanese schools to children in the first and second grade. Sometimes this may not be helpful if you're taking JLPT. So JLPT kanji and Kyoik kanji may be different. I'm sure there's a lot of overlap. So if you're studying for the JLPT, maybe this is good for you. Maybe it's not. I don't know. This book might not also be helpful to college students. You know, the Japanese from zero books tend to be too easy for the classroom and as a result um, they are recommended more for self-learners uh, non-college students um, those being like middle school students even elementary school students high school students primary school students not college students the college classroom is meant to be a quick paced environment learning environment so this is actually you know you can take your time with this 39 lessons if you do um, if you do just one lesson a day, that's 39 days, just over a month, right? If you include the super reviews, which, I mean, you can do one of those a day, that's 39 plus 8, 47, that would be 47 days, month and a half or so. You can get through 240 kanji characters in a month and a half. And that may seem fast, and it may seem appropriate for the college setting, but you know, if I was a college professor, I probably would not want to use this. Maybe as a supplement, but not for the main curriculum. Now, I talked about beginner students, and I talked about advanced students. I didn't talk about intermediate students. Intermediate students are kind of hard to place. Um, there are some kanji in here I think that intermediate students would not necessarily know. Uh, for example, sansu no san is taught, and kisen no ki, and... Yumi, Yumi, I don't think that's, I don't think that's taught in, at the intermediate level or even the beginner level. It's a fairly simple kanji, yes, and the meaning is fairly understandable, but textbooks tend to focus on more practical kanji. <laughs> yumi um, is not that practical, I would say. <laughs> Anyways, the list of kanji that intermediate learners may not know presented in this book is very small so I would just consider it a review a nice review for intermediate learners if you're an intermediate intermediate learner and you want to like you know review kanji that you might have forgotten that you might not have used in a while this might be a good resource for you the fact that this book includes kanji tongue twisters culture points usage notes and so on I mean it's enough to put to rate this book really high. 
And while it does have a variety of exercises, I still think they could have added a little bit more, maybe more with um, a little more variety, you know. But it's really a minor, a minor point, a minor complaint on my part. And ultimately, what you have here in this book is sufficient. Is It's really enough for anyone to master 240 kanji characters. For that reason, um, on a out of five scale, I would give this textbook a five out of five. Mm. On a larger scale, however, I would give it like out of 10. I'd probably give it a nine out of 10. Um, only because I'm considering that little that little point about the activities. Otherwise, it's great. It's fantastic. Almost perfect in my eyes. And I should be clear, I am considering these scores based on the target audience of this text. The absolute beginner. Who is also probably a self-studier. If I based my ratings and my scores on every possible user of this book, it'd be much lower, right? Because it doesn't appeal to advanced learners, intermediate learners, it doesn't appeal to college students, it doesn't appeal to a lot of people. And you know, this way of rating mat Japanese learning material is often used uh, on a lot of popular sites that rate things, and a lot of popular channels on YouTube, and a lot of pop and like, a lot of people rate stuff like that. And I hate it, because it's kind of not fair, you know? So only looking at this book's target audience, it's really, it's fantastic. It's great, it's perfect. And that's about it. I mean, you can check out their website uh, for more information related to the curriculum, related to their other products that they have. In addition, you can buy all of the From Zero books on Amazon.com. I'll put links in the description below. I hope this helped you guys. Uh, let me know if you, what you think. Let me know if you bought this book. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my ratings. Um, just let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, Peace, guys.